because I'm alone and walang walang visit, no? Ako lang mag-isa. So, so, Thinking, uh, 
I have a problem, ano sasabihin ng Bible sa akin? Hindi pala gano'n, no? And then, until a the member of the community said, you, you got to have a reading plan. So, ano bang reading plan? That reading plan is, sabi uh, nila, for instance, it's uh, December, maybe you can read the Nativity chapters. If it's the Holy Week, maybe you can read about the Passion and Death of Christ. But you can also do it by theme and by concern. For instance, you're experiencing uh, family issues, family religion issues. The Bible has a lot to say about family <coughs> relations. If you are depressed, family, the Bible has a lot to say about depression. If you have problems with your children, problems with finances, guess what? The Bible has something to say about that. That keeps us within God's plan. Okay, I know from your faces, from your faces, you're, you're probably saying, it's a big book, it's a big book, and it's masyado nakapal, it's hard to bring. Well, I have an answer for you, and that answer is, I have an app for that. You can download the Bible, and uh, don't do it now. You can download the Bible tonight, and read. Start reading it. You know, it's, it's not the... Uh, it's not a novel, no? so you can you can randomly shift through chapters. But you have to start reading the Bible. You know? But aside from reading the Bible, member of the community reminded me, bro, you got to read the gospel. And that's what the second app is all about. D gems. D gems, well I think that's daily gospel. D gems is daily gospel, yeah. And, uh, but some members of the community download one touch and it gives you the daily gospel and guess what you can even program it to text you at the time you want to, to read the Bible so I, I, I have it at 6 o'clock in the morning so at 6 o'clock in the morning that's my first text I read, I read the gospel the gospel for today is just uh, the gospel for today is just 4 lines four sentences. So it's not too difficult. And you know, a priest told me, if you attend Mass every day, in three years, that's the Bible. Oh. If you attend Mass every day. So it's really not too difficult. If you take it four, five sentences at a time, maswerte na kung mga eight to ten sentences, masyado na mahaba yun. Normally, it's about four or five sentences. So it's not too difficult. So we can start reading the Bible. Second way to study is by reading spiritual books. And you know that it's not to promote that, uh, that reading counter at the back, no? but they have a very good selection. And you know, if you don't have, if you have time, you can even go to National Bookstore. You know, National Bookstore and um, what's this other bookstore, Fully Booked? They usually have an aisle dedicated to religion and spirituality. And you know it's that aisle because it's always free of people. It's empty. No? So just make a visit and select something interesting. Sometimes the Pope writes a book. Sometimes some bishops and some learned people. But I know. Ah, some of you are saying, I'm here to go to the bookstore. I'm here to go to I do not know what to do. Etc. Etc. I have yoga class, I have a facial, I have gym class, so it's so hard to pass by the bookstore. I have an app for that. <laughs> if you're an Apple user, if you're an iPhone user, you can go to iTunes U and down and click it and go down to religion and spirituality. <coughs> there you can download semesters of lectures from uh, Harvard, from Cornell, from Yale, from Cornell, about religion and spirituality. It's all so interesting. It's an audio book, huh? So, hindi ka natatama rin yung shit. You just listen to it while working out, huh? While listen to it while having your facial or whatever, your yoga, or watching your children in Taekwondo class. There's no reason not to get an education, huh? After reading spiritual books, you can also attend preachings and teachings. 
I do not know if your respective parishes have this, but certainly in a community like the BCDT, we have regular teachings and preachings. Usually that coincide with the first Friday Mass. We we share together. We, we share together. We sing. We sing. We we attend first Friday Mass as a community. Also, we have chapter assemblies, and somehow. 30-minute teachings are incorporated into those assemblies. So it's important to have to study. It's important to study because when you read the Bible, when you read spiritual books, you get to know what God's plan is. What does the Bible have to say about uh, studying? Psalm 19 says, Your word is love to my feet and light to my heart. Romans 15, whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that through endurance and encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. Matthew 4, man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Is San Baba naman mababasa yung every word to hindi sa Bible? 1 Timothy, until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of scripture, to exhortation, to teaching. To Timothy, and how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. That's what we read the Bible. The next, uh, the next four are the sacraments. And you know sacraments, they're visible rites seen as signs and effective channels of the grace of God. To, to those who receive them with proper disposition. See, see Father Kanina made mention of that, of that when he was talking about depression uh, and the Eucharist. But just to summarize, we have uh, sacraments of initiation, we have sacraments of healing, and the sacraments of service. But the priest, you know, uh, as, as Catholics, we believe that our spiritual lives are strengthened by the sacraments. And growth occurs when we support our personal prayer, and we support our study with the sacraments. Lalo, lalo na the sacraments of Holy Eucharist and the sacraments of penance, of, of confession. But the priest, uh, and I think Father Mani Kalina also mentioned it. A friend priest of mine mentioned it very simply. Sabi niya, uh, what more, how, how, how better can you pray? What more, how can, how can you support your, your, you can support your prayer more with the body of Christ inside you. Diba? So what better way to pray? Then with the body of Christ actually inside you, it's the Holy Eucharist. That your body you prepare through confession. So that's the way to prepare ourselves to grow in the Spirit. The next book is service. And you know, it's, it's machado underrated on service when you grow in the light of the Spirit. But, but the Holy Spirit is at, is at work with us, not just for our personal development but also to equip us to serve God and His people. Now, I have several uh, examples of service, but uh, for time constraints, i just say one. When we were students, I, I, I remember I was a freshman student, you know, and uh, I spent some time in the library. Una-una, malamig kasi yung library sa school namin. It's better than staying out in the in the <coughs> garden, Ainin. So I spent time there to read and to advance read to check some items that I could not understand. And uh, one day the priest <coughs> passes over me and he said, "You don't have to study." So I said, "Huh? I don't. I don't have to study." Ito na nga, di ba? We, we, we have to get this grade, otherwise we get kicked out of school. What do you mean you don't have to study? Sabi niya, you have to experience the fullness of being a student. 
okay. So he encouraged me to join an org. And I joined a school org. And this enabled me to meet people na freshmen until senior students. No? And we did a lot of sponsorships. We did a lot of uh, um, movie premieres. We did a lot of coordination with the inter-school inter -school coordination. And it was fun. But he said, no, we join a religious org. Religious org? I said, no. So, Father, the in the school, we were supposed to get 15 units of uh, theology and something like 16 units of philosophy. Ano pa bang, ano pa bang uh, religion ang gusto ba? Bakit pa ako kailangan sumali ng org? So, he said, no, you have to join a org. So, I did. Kami na mga friends ko, we joined this religious org. And of course, we thought it was like this. It was just a renewal. It was just a puro lecture, it was catechism. And when we attended the first session, si Father asked us to go to Barrio Tambacan. Barrio Tambacan in the 70s and in the 80s, that's the dump, dump ground in Quezon City. You know, for those of you who stay in Quezon City. Nandun yan sa present site of the Batasan Pambansa. No? That used to be a dump site. Of course, until now, it's still a dump site. A different kind. From the 70s, basura. Mountains and mountains of basura. And you know, we were, we were tasked to go there. And there is a community inside those mountains of trash. There is a community of uh, slum dwellers. And we were supposed to go there and teach English, math, and science. Okay, so we, we were up to it. Long story short, pumunta ko kami. You know that place? Uh, lagpas lang ng UP, naamoy mo na yung... Ang layo-layo pa ng batasan, ano? Pero naamoy mo na yung... Yung dump. So, we were preparing ourselves. When we went there, we were of course saying we don't like to go here, no? Kasi lahat ng mga, lahat ng mga classmates ko, you know, they were in nice attire, they were English speaking, and we, they were saying, no, why, why are we going to teach those kids? They are all rugby boys, they are all uh, probably petty criminals already. Lahat yan, mga madudumig tao inside out. But to our surprise, the kids were so enthusiastic. They dressed up well. No? Of course, na amoy mo na when we were there. But that's a dump place for those of you who've been to dump places. Dumidikit po yung amoy in, in your skin and in your clothes. You have to tell your yaya to boil. <laughs> to boil the... So, no kidding, no kidding. It's, it, it really sticks. So, we were teaching math, and they were so enthusiastic. They were so enthusiastic about getting an education. And they told us, uh, yeah, there, there are rugby boys, there are people, there are even kids who can be contracted to kill. Pero konti lang daw sa population na yun. So, wag mo kong tang lahat din yun. Yung dump area na yun. It's just that they're there because of circumstances. So, long story short, the semester has passed. We were not complaining that we were there every Saturday to teach the kids. And they were so happy. Of course, uh, the school has always constantly reminding us of the motto. The motto of the school is man for others. No? So, uh, encourage them. So, that is service. That is service. And besides the kids were saying, you know their normal classroom, we saw, we saw their classroom, it's it's atop a pile of garbage, yung classroom nila. Uh, wala, hong, wala hong ceiling, so it's galvanized iron, and the kids are already there. It's like entering an open poster at 10 o'clock in the morning. Tapos, dumidikit pa yung amoy. That's why hindi na kami nakakalabas pag Saturday. We're just thinking about the whole afternoon. But that is service, no? That is service. 
Four years have passed. I was a freshman then. Four years have passed, and no one was apparently no one was complaining. We see each other. Of course, when we, where we when we were in school, we were complaining. Now, I'm bow bow talaga, and you know this guy is it's really it's, it's smells terrible. But we see each other every Saturday, and four years have passed. May pag-iyak-iyak pa yung mga ibang girls, no? Na, oh, graduate na tayo, hindi na tayo makapabalik doon. No? Some even have, uh, have come back to teach. But of course, the community is long gone. Uh, hindi ko alam kung saan na yung, yung area. But service. What does the Bible got to say about service? One Peter. Each of us has received a gift. Use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's by priest. In Matthew 20, we need to take on a mentality of service that we see our whole lives given over to God's work. In Acts 20, it's better to give than to receive. And in John 13, this is the washing of the feet. It's a service verse where the Lord said, I have washed your feet, you also, also wash one another's feet. That is a verse of service. The last spoke is church and the community. And this refers to almost everything Christians do as a body. And this includes praying, serving, teaching, and spending special time together as members of the same family. That's what a community like the BCBP can do. You know, we, we serve together, we pray together, we attend teachings together. Remember, to become complete Christians, we must be joined to others who experience the fullness of Christian life. It's very hard to go about it alone. You have to do it, share it with the community. No? So basically that's, that's it. That's, those are the spokes that are needed to grow in the life of the Spirit. Now having heard that, what should our response be? The response B, we should learn to know Jesus more. And how do, how do we do that? We have to read the Bible, we have to attend uh, preachings and teachings, we have to pray. We have to understand what He has done and continues to do so in our life. And finally, we should have a close and personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much for listening to